everybody, Tim Yamex here and today we talk about how to neutralize color casts in shadows and highlights. This topic is often forgotten because it's not obvious and then often I see people who just forgot to neutralize the shadows and highlights. But that's what an amateur differs from a pro. So let me just explain why it's so important to get neutral shadows and highlights and I show you three methods to get it done. First, if you look on a feature film, you often see extremely color grading dominated by teal and orange or a greenish tint. But what about the blacks and whites? If you look explicitly for shadows and highlights, you will recognize clean blacks and whites. And that's a trick why you accept those overwhelming teal and orange or greenish casts because there are neutral blacks and whites. That means areas of the image that correspond to 100% are generally reserved for pure whites and which correspond to zero are reserved for blacks, both without any color casts. The first way to achieve this is to lower the highlights to retain saturation. You can do it by decreasing the highlights on the primaries or by lowering the value of the highlights. Just drop down until the highlights dips under the 100 IRE line. That's it. But I hear you all screaming because most of you want the image to be bright to keep in mind that lowering the highlights for example will allow you to retain greater saturation throughout the image. This will make the image more energetic and give you a bit more color depth in the midst. If it's done correctly it's an excellent trade-off. The second way to get clean highlights and shadows is to desaturate the highlights and shadows. This can be done in different ways. In DaVinci Resolve it can be done via the Luma curve, but that's not the best way because you can't control it in a very fine selection. It gives you a more rough solution. A much better way is to make a HSL qualifier so you can better select the areas which you want to be clean in the highlights and the shadows. Here's a quick demonstration. Just choose the qualifier panel and make your selection, only selecting the Luma slider because we want to address all use and saturation levels in the wanted areas. Turn the U and set slider off. Now you can lower the saturation of the color and keep track of your image. Mostly you have to lower the saturation, but I recommend to combine these two adjustments. It will give you much better results and you don't have to lower the saturation as much as if you only lower the set adjustment. The third way is to legalizing RGB using the curves. This is one of the best approaches of all solutions. Again, I demonstrate this technique very quick on a simple example. An easy fix out of Gamut RGB excursions is to add a control or two near the top of the red, green and blue curve controls that corresponds to the color channels which are out of the bounds in the RGB parade scope. In other words, higher than 100 IRE. The most important is that the curves aren't linked together. Make sure to delink them all on this link button. Now drop the topmost control point down until the tops of the selected color dip down the 100 IRE line. And if there's another color which clips the 100 IRE level line, just repeat the steps for this color too. Repeat these steps until all colors dips underneath this 100% or IIE line. With this approach you will get much more cleaner results as with the other techniques. For sure there are some other methods too but these are the most common and most useful methods to get clean shadows and highlights. As always if you have further questions 
feel free to ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching, have all a great time and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.